initiative i'm your host the weeb this is the show where every other week i'll be talking about anime manga and everything in between this week i'll be talking about a pretty special anime that was released in 2022 boshi the rock so just before i start as always disclaimers spoiler alert i'll be talking about most of the story of the anime though there's no real plot twist or anything like that for the story so for the most part these spoilers don't actually mess up with the experience of watching it for real so but still here's the warning so let's get started first the stats so Boshi the Rock is originally a Yonkoma style manga it was originally published in manga time Kirara Max since 2017 and all its chapters were collected into six volumes. The run is still going as of 2023, so it's still being published and written. It was written by Hamaji Aki, and basically that's it for the manga. The anime ran from October 2022 to December 2022. It has 12 episodes, no specials, no OVAs and nothing of the kind. The studio that worked on it was Cloverworks. Cloverworks is a fairly a new studio. It was founded in 2018. It has worked since its founding in some pretty big shows, let's say. So, Darning the Franks, the Persona 5 adaptation, Fairy Tale, Ace Attorney Season 2, one of the many Fates Grand Order, Sonobis Kedo, or My Dress Up Darling, and Spy Family, and then we get to the Spy Family movie and so on and so forth. So you can clearly see that although the studio is pretty new, they already have a really good track record for the most part. I mean, Darning the Franks is pretty good, though it's tr- mostly trigger. Well, I am not getting into that but they're pretty good in making anime so let's just talk about the story this is going to be a fairly quick review actually because as with many comedy anime slash manga it's really hard to me to convey a better let's say understanding of the work outside of explaining the jokes and for the most part Explaining the jokes uh, kind of loses the meaning of watching it in the first place. But so for that, let's just get to the hook of the story and the idea of the anime, really. So our main protagonist is Hitori Goto. She is a introvert, really socially awkward person who at this point at middle school, she doesn't have any friends, really. Her only social interactions let's say are with her family and at some point she sees she's watching tv and sees that one of the most famous bands at that time one of the guys used to be an introvert and learned the guitar in order to be in a band and so she makes this connection that if she can learn the guitar and be in a band she can be famous and actually grow socially let's say uh, that leads into she practicing the guitar with one guitar that her father has. And so time skip six, um, I think six, five years later. And she is like middle school at the beginning of the story. And time skips to the second year of high school. And she still doesn't have any friends. But she learned the guitar quite a lot and became, uh, let's say, a a small YouTuber at this point. She's known as Guitar Hero. I mean, in Japanese, I think this is not as on the nose as is it is on the Western side. I think because Guitar Hero, if you don't know, if you maybe like was born like 2022, Guitar Hero used to be one of the most acclaimed uh, rhythm games of the seventh generation console so ps2 and wii and you know but still this is her online name and she basically does videos of her playing the guitar famous songs and whatever anything that you would see that most artists 
in general start as cover artists and then eventually grow up to be make their own original works and so on and so forth so for the most part she's a loner she's socially awkward and the only thing that she actually does is staying at home practicing the guitar and playing inside the closet that all changes when of one time when she wants to let's say attract someone to talk to her about bands and music and so on and so forth she takes her guitar to school and nobody actually talks to her at school but at some point she's kind of giving up everything in a park when a girl comes up to her and asks if she can be their substitute guitarist because the one they had just basically flunked on them uh, this girl is one of our protagonists, Ichiji Nijika. She's the leader of the band and presents then to our third protagonist, Yamada Ryo. And both of them are part of this band, this upstart band, Kesoku Bando, which is, I think, zip ties in Japanese. <laughs> this is the gag they put up in the first episode and from this point on they have this kind of small gig the three of them and it kind of works out although Goto has at this point she's called Boshi because she's really socially awkward she really can't stand keeping eye contact or even talking to people normally she freezes up she just blanks out whenever someone comes let's say not announced to talk to her so she's not ready she just straight up blinks and basically sh things work out they have their gig it's pretty nice and all the funny thing in this first episode is that uh, although they present in front of an audience a live audience but she has this thing where she is absolutely uh, mortified by the the idea of being in front of people presenting and playing and so for the first gig she uses a whole uh, let's say three boxes of mangoes to basically cover herself up and just present in front of people without actually appearing let's say in person and from this point on we then get to meet our i may have fumbled the the order but we get to meet our fourth member of the band kita iku that is the energic let's say person of the band this extrovert she's the complete opposite of goto so much so that most of her gags are basically presented as she the extrovert energy that she emanates the light let's say that she emanates everywhere whenever she talks whenever she presents something to anyone and so the anime basically shows and tells the story of these four girls as they kind of learn how to play their instruments really so goto is the lead guitarist Iko is the secondary guitar and vocals Nijika is the drummer and Dio is the bassist so and basically the whole anime circles around the four of, the four of them while they basically learn how to be a band and construct this whole idea but also their own exploits mostly our main 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 protagonist and the one thing that actually made the show so famous and so let's say enjoyable to watch that is goto or boshi because for the most part and this is a thing right so boshi is one protagonist that we can and this may come as this may come as me reflecting on myself but if you watch it it is really hard not to at the very least see yourself on her at the very least once per episode let's say because she reflects one part where and i think this reflects mostly on the more let's say more hardcore part of the anime slash manga fandom community that every one of us has at the very least felt one of the parts that she shows so the pessimistic outlook towards 
presenting a hobby to someone, the fear of being rejected by the things you like, and oh my god, there there's so many examples that she sh she shows and she proclaims. I mean, most of the reactions are kind of really exaggerated but that adds to how funny it is to watch her um it's been a long long time since i saw the last anime or manga that was a comedy and that i laughed so hard out of a gag most of the reactions the ideas that they put on the show are really really nice one of the things that happens a lot is that she <laughs> straight out just climbs inside trash cans multiple times in the anime it's so funny the way that she does it and not only that but the way she freezes up towards people most of them are pretty funny the way that she falls over whenever she's freaked out by a single thought or the way that she gets controlled by her own thoughts and trapped inside her own head i mean the way objectively what I'm saying is pretty dark, and some may say that it is uh, signs of depression, whatever. It can be treated seriously in northern series, but in this one, as it's a wholesome, a really cute comedy, those are steps that eventually lead to her development. So what I'm saying here is that sh they make a lot of gags, with her anxiety and her socially awkward self but at the end of the episode at the end of the anime at the end of the interaction although she has this first uh extreme reaction extreme adversity to talking to people to actually presenting herself to actually s interacting with other people she eventually she grows up from it although the progress is marginal let's say and sometimes she has these drawbacks and it comes back to the original let's say more introvert more uh, panic type she you can see as the anime goes that she grows up she can pick up on more challenges she keeps on challenging herself the one of the really nice gags that I taught was this and I don't know how many of you may have already lived through this but it's really funny that at one point she gets a lot of money and wants to quit her part-time job but then when she goes to talk to the manager she actually freezes up and just enters this loop where uh, maybe I need to give her something just to say that I'm quitting and it it is pretty pretty funny i can't really do it justice here talking about it like this but i would really recommend someone to watch it everyone who can if you have the time if you have the let's say the <laughs> mindset of actually giving it a try it's really nice it's a really refreshing way to frame the whole socially awkward teenager phase it's a whole you can actually read into it a whole lot like you can change the let's say it's a different hobby it's not playing the guitar it's drawing making videos let's say of anything really you can derive so many things from it and the overall message of the anime is pretty nice it is i think a really inspirational kind of story and setting i the and at this point I'm already out of the story and just talking about the anime in general but let's just say that it is a whole a whole thing it's really funny overall the gags are really well done the characters are let's say well developed well developed in general they have their own quirks the anime itself has let's say ongoing gags that eventually get up to let's say a turning um boiling points towards the end of it there they are uh, resolutions to some of the gags that they use at the beginning and some things that are developed really well in the anime now talking strictly about the structure of the anime it is basically episodic they have let's say little arcs but it's not really something that is ever uh, let's say they don't actually change the overall characters they don't actually develop the overall characters because the the characters have little developments every 
episode rather than uh, one big event to develop and um, change them at once, let's say. And one of the things that I really like about this structure and something that for this kind of uh, this genre and this story in specific, I think that they did really well is the fact that at the end of the anime, in the 11th and 12th episodes, they don't actually have the end of season rush. There is, let's say, a major, not not to say a major really, but there is a conflict at the last episode, but the resolution is so uh, not overblown like many other anime do, do it. Let's say the way they present it and how it is resolved is really subtle, really tame. And considering the material that we have here, the story, the characters, the, the overall feeling of the anime, it feels really good because it is... It does really good considering it, the setting, let's say. What do I mean by that? Let's take, for example, one of the first reviews I did on this this show, the end for Love Live Idol School Project, the original one, where Kotori kind of gets that I will leave school at the end of the year for no apparent reason because they just straight up just pull it out of thin air at the end of the season. That was not a well done ending because the the conflict is basically pulled out, pulled out of thin air at one point and they resolve it within one episode that's not good writing let's say it is really just to create this sense of urgency and sense of conflict for the end of the season uh, this one here in Bosch the Rock is well placed and well implemented well written in general the, um, there is this conflict there is not really a conflict it's just uh, let's say it's a moment where we see the growth of Boshi in general. She and not only Boshi, but the group in general. But it is a moment. I'd say it's a serious thing, but they get through it and they get through it gracefully and without much scandal. And that's the point I'm trying to make here. I may have repeated myself a whole lot of times, but still. And for one, this anime is pretty nice. Um, so here I've talked about the overall story and things. Let me talk about the characters and then a few notable stuff about the anime in a technical side, more or less. So the characters are really well presented. We have a really big spread, although not all the characters are well developed, uh, given that we have only 12 episodes and most of, of the time is spent on comedy gags. Not all the characters get um, enough time in the limelight to be developed, but they have clear-cut archetypes and their interactions are pretty straightforward for the most part. So Boshi is this socially awkward introvert type that is basically not pushed into, but she's coerced into becoming a somewhat uh, underground rock star. And for the most part, she doubts herself at every other corner she questions whether she's right to be there and she has enough talent, let's say. Actually, how do I put it? It's not that she questions her own talent. She questions whether she is going, she's right to be there. Because oh, as an introvert, she f feels this anxiety about being with other people and showing off to other people. And so even though she is talented with the guitar, she would prefer not to appear related to it or direct directly playing it basically she's extremely shy the next one that i want to talk about is nijika who's the leader of the band and the one that actually creates the whole situation she is for the most part this straight man mostly the one that is the voice of reason for the most part she's pretty middle ground really let's say she is the most let's say normal of the four of them and also the one that actually presents the venue for them to present and subsequently the manager that they work for that is her sister Seika 
who's the manager of the venue that they use to present and work there. And from then on, we get to meet the um, other employee that we have in the venue. And eventually we get the introduction later of some other characters. The one character that I want to bring a light on because I really love her is Kikuri Hiroi. That is the basis of another band that appears called Side Hack, Sick Hack. Man, I love her. I love her character. It's really funny the way that she talks and the quirky way of the the whole thing. Because she's basically a drunkard for the most part, but she is the one that actually is really talented and is the let's say the example that the girls use as a um, let's say successful underground band member let's say and it's really really funny her interactions with both boshi and the rest of the group it's really nice that i i really love the, this specific character in this sh whole anime this is the one character that i really like and for the most part even when talking about let's say the whole the show in general the whole feeling of the show in general it has a really as I already said, wholesome and cute uh, demeanor for it. The um, overall thing is really uplifting. It's really nice that we see at the beginning how Boshi is this really loner, really depressed character. And eventually she grows up to be a more, not say social, but she starts to look up to stuff she starts to look forward to new experiences new gigs the band as a whole and the other experiences that they have it's really inspiring it's really nice that being said now i have to talk more about the technical side of the anime and also the one thing that i need actually to talk about the music so for instance the anime is really well done the both the presentation the presentation is really nice the whole the character design is something that really i think stuck out to everyone because i mean all the girls are more or less based on archetypes so it is the blue the bassist she's um let's say compared to boshi she's also a loner and mostly an introvert but she's not like she's not an introvert and a loner by consequence like boshi that cannot actually interact with people but she chooses to be a loner because she has the let's say the shikamaru type of thinking where social interactions is a drag so for the most part she's a person that is more collected to herself but still she can actually uh, interact with other people later on the anime they develop this this gag with her that she's well off and earns a, let's say a big allowance from her parents but as the show only goes through one month at some point she spends it all and becomes basically she, she's broke right and from this point forward she uh, starts basically asking borrowed money from everyone and not paying it back and so the the gag goes that she eventually has to pay it back and the way that she pays back is really funny then we have so we have basically two four members we have two introverts in bochi and Leo, and then Nijika and Iko are the more extroverts kind of people. Iko in specific, she's really nice as a character. Also, she's re it's really funny how, how they introduce her and how the interactions go with her because they use a whole lot of little effects and sound effects to represent her, the, how much of an extrovert she actually is. It is really nice how they write her as someone out of place between all of them. Because for the most part, Ryo and Boshi are introverts that are really like closed off. Nijika is a kind of in the middle 
but in contrast to all of it so they are more towards let's say the introvert type with the contrast of equal is that being alone as uh let's say a solo extrovert in the band she outweighs the other three in being the extrovert she posts on instagram she has a lot of friends she goes out every day and so on and so forth it's really nice this to see how the whole chemistry of the group works and also that she has her own let's say character arc while she has to learn the guitar actually they eventually find out they find out in the first episode that she doesn't actually play the guitar so Boshi is kind of in charge of her training and lessons and so it's really it's really wholesome the way they write her and in general the whole thing about the facts and the way that she acts towards other people it's really funny and talking about now how the anime portrays these gags and does this stuff so presentation is really nice the backgrounds in specific they use a mixture of drone backgrounds to photography and this is a thing that happens a lot in this anime is that they use a lot a lot of photography inside it so it has this kind of it gives out this visual of a collage kind of stuff so it's a mix between the IRL stuff with the anime and animation in the IRL space that gives a really a fresh air to the animation not only that but also some other gags that I they are pulled they put IRL photos of stuff not only backgrounds but objects sometimes in the anime it's really really nice the presentation the overall composure of scenes is really beautiful they have this thing where they give out this really I can't even explain it but they give out this really tight really realistic um, visual of let's say of the city in a really in a hip, really happy light let's say and it gives an air of of wholesomeness let's say of cuteness it it reinforces the idea that this anime is really just a good time it's really cozy to watch and actually doesn't actually have any major drama or, or anything like that now one of the other things that they do a lot is the use of 3D CGI and I have to say that although I don't like it I think the way that they do it is very tame and it is noticeable when they do it but also it ties into a more let's say a more robust style that they try to pull out because this anime has one of the it's really I always remember about Nichiju when I talk about this but they really they pull some gags at some points that really uh, they need this visual weight to be actual gags so one of the most used gags that they use is when Boshi freezes up her whole face gets disfigured as if she just cr starts to crumble apart she starts to basically dismount from her own body or even some parts where she gets surprised and she pops like a balloon or melts away in the ground and becomes a mount of goo and so on and so forth it's really nice and it all ties up to be a really it's a complete way of presenting different gags at some points even they make little little movies let's say they basically uh, record uh, a skit in the reward and then it appears in the anime it's really funny at one point I don't actually know you can actually go research this afterward but there is this one skit they do where there's a plushie of the let's say the goo form of Boshi in the middle of a whole lot of vegetation and they do it they basically record this, their search for it and when you see this on the anime 
that IRL plushy between all this vegetation in the middle of I don't know a park in Japan it's really funny and it's really something that we don't see a lot and it's really unique for that matter it, what, what I'm trying to say it's the anime does a pretty good job in being unique and being really nice to actually see watch and experience I think that they did a really really good job in, on doing the whole thing so the characterization the presentation the whole thing the art and everything else really nice the whole anime is a blast basically and now i gotta talk about music because it is a really really big part of the show so let's begin so the opening we have only one opening seishun complex and this is the thing, the voice actors for the girls are actual singers, of artists, so it's really nice. And then we have, I think, four different endings. The first one is Distortion from episode 1 to 3. Karakara from episode 4 to 7. Nanigawarui from episode 8 to 11. And Korogaru Iwa Kimi ni Asaga Furu. On episode 12 we have also the insert songs that uh, they are the originals from the band f of the girls so they have I think three different different songs and basically that's about it for the whole anime the animation is a mixed bag but I think they it's more stylistic rather than rather than a lack of effort or lack of production really the they use a lot of let's say cheap tricks uh, it's cheap tricks basically does uh it gives out a pejorative kind of air to it but it's not really that the thing is animating someone actually playing an instrument is really really hard i i can't even imagine how you do that because you have to time actual frames to the sound and then it's a whole mess what they will do a lot is that they hide both the whole faces of some characters at some points when they are playing instruments, which I think it's a kind of to ease up and to focus more on the hands and the animation for the instruments, which are pretty good, but clearly are not perfect because, again, it's pretty messed up to animate something like that. But still, the whole thing is really nice and for the most part is a stylistic choice again rather than they are laced off it's really for the sake of the anime for the sake of the the production and music i really thought for my taste at the very least it's really nice i think just the last song they sing at the um, 12th episode it, it kind of lacks energy but that's just on me some people may Dis um, disagree on that but the last song they sing at the um, 12th episode kind of meh outside of that the rest of the songs really nice and I don't know if I will uh, read the manga after watching this I really wish they had a second season for this because the second season would be really awesome this all oh, this anime is so cute there is this one part where Boshi's guitar kind of breaks because the the peg is goes kaput and basically she can't use her guitar anymore and then she goes tells her parents and then they present her with a lot of money and they just oh where did, did you get this money oh you were using the family YouTube account so we just we saw that you were getting views and all and applied for monetization so basically this is your money i i don't know why maybe because i'm doing this kind of thing let's say trying to monetize my youtube channel but this is not a plugin okay this is not a plugin i'm talking like this is real this is real when they said that they applied in secret for monetization and actually that money was hers i it was really cute Oh my god, it was really, really cute. How they said, yeah, you you make us proud and all. It, it is really nice to have that 
reassuring feeling from the family, right? And oh my god, it was really nice. It's touching, really. And with that note, uh, really sad for one, but still, that's about it. So if you like what I do, if you like the show, if you like this whole mess that I talk about every other week, uh, thank you guys for listening, for watching. If you can, please like, please share, please follow, depending on the platform you're in. Please join the Discord. And if you can share with a friend, I'm really trying to pull this off, but still. And I hope you guys stick around for next time. Bye.